Okay, well, hello. So, today I will show you the standalone solar inverter. Okay, so just for your information, there are a lot of topology, but for this one, it is based on this approach. Okay, so this approach means that uh, you have a PV here. Okay, you have PV, you have boost converter, and then control with the MPPT controller. And the output is goes to the battery switches, okay? So boost converter and then battery switches. Battery switches is just a basically a relay system for charging and discharging. That's it. And then you have a flyback converter to increase the voltage. So this one is PV, okay? And then the voltage of the battery here, okay? And then the voltage of the battery is quite low, okay? So you have to increase it to ace uh to 320 okay uh vdc okay still dc here but the voltage is increased from 48 to 300 and uh, around 320 or 350 okay so uh, after you increase the voltage and then goes to the hash bridge to be ac okay so this is a quite complex system and it takes a lot of computation time but uh, if you don't want to use this approach, you can use the simplest uh, solar inverter. Actually, they are much more uh, simple solar inverter. But the problem is uh, this type of solar inverter is not connected to the battery and directly from the PV. Okay, no battery and then you need a lot of PV in series. Okay, so this solar inverter is actually for uh, standard. Okay. If you go to buy a standalone solar inverter, standard standalone solar inverter, usually you have a PV here, okay, very low voltage PV, okay, you don't need a lot of PV, and then you have a battery here, uh, and then you have a DC output and AC output, and DC and AC is very uh, different, eh? uh, commonly if you buy the standalone solar inverter, the DC is around 48, but the AC is almost uh 200 and 30 ac so the voltage because of the high voltage different you cannot use the simple method okay if you want to use a simple method you can uh, go to Mat uh, matlab okay they have the solar inverter okay simple method basically uh the pv okay connected to the inverter the hash bridge and then directly go to ac that's it Okay, that one is a uh, grid tie solar inverter. Okay, grid tie solar inverter means that you connected to the uh, PV, uh, connected to the grid. Okay, so that one uh, has different simulation, but this one is for standalone, which is quite complicated. So you can see here, this is a PV. Okay, you have irradiance here. So if you use this uh, at 1.4 second, okay, the simulation is 2.1, 1.4 1. second, the irradiance uh, change from 1000 to 500 originally 1000 uh, and then 500 okay and then this is battery okay battery is just 44 uh, 44 volt 8 48 volt okay so uh, the only change this is the default setting okay the only change is uh, this one the response time so I don't want to make the simulation too long, so I make the battery respond faster. Actually, the battery should respond slower. Okay, and the load here, you can see here, this is AC and DC and AC load. Okay, and you have a sensor here, and the switch you can see here, the switch uh, turn off. Okay, at zero point eight, it will turn on. So originally the load is only twenty. Boom. For DC and then for AC is uh, originally 200 oh. okay and then after 0 0.8 uh, 0 0.7 second it will uh, parallel with that original load with the 10 ohm okay this one 20 parallel with 10 so for AC 200 parallel with 100 so basically the load uh, increase okay the load power increase or the resistor decrease so that is the system okay so if you want to set the stand uh, standard solar inverter 
Okay, you just double click here. Okay, you can see here the first one is the mode, either PWM and PPT. So, so uh, standalone solar inverter, you have two types actually, either PWM, okay, or MPPT. So PWM is basically you don't extract most of the power from the uh, PV. So it's just use the uh, it's just set okay set a certain point okay of the voltage and then it's just operate at that operating voltage of the PV. So that is the PWM method okay. And if you have a PMPPT method, it means that uh, this will use the PNO method. Okay, and then this is setting for converter and controller. Okay, you have converter setting and controller setting. So I look, uh, you should look at converter first. Okay, you have three things: boost, playback, and inverter. Okay, so you have boost here. Okay, the boost main and non-ideal, non-ideal parameter you can set it up. Okay, and then flyback is also the same. You have main setting. Okay, and then the non ideal component so basically you can see here the primary and the secondary voltage it increased from 50 volt from 300 uh, to 250 volt okay so and then inverter okay you have a setting here so inverter is much more simple actually okay and then you have a, a controller Okay, so controller for PV, of course, you have the PWM setting or this one, or PWM or MPPT. So if you use PWM, okay, you have to set the voltage, okay, the rated voltage here. Okay, this setting is just for PWM. Okay, and this one is for MPPT. Maybe I should change the loop here, okay, after this. Okay, so this one is for MPPT, this one is for uh, what you call the uh, the MPPT method okay so this is for PV and then uh, the battery okay this one is to ensure that the battery is not overcharged or over discharge okay so you have a maximum and minimum okay and the time taken to check the battery okay for this uh, simulation you can set it to uh, for this simulation is 0 0.4 second for every 20, 0 0.4 second it will check whether the battery is full which means the ma uh, maximum voltage here okay or overly discharged okay this one okay and then last one is the inverter so you can see here inverter okay is control uh, using pi controller okay you have a modulation index okay amplitude modulation index for the inverter fundamental frequency and switching frequency for the this one okay let me show you here okay so this one is the unipolar switches okay so this is the mp2 modulation index and then you can see here this is the pi control so pi control is basically combination of flyback and the hash bridge inverter so uh the this one cannot be controlled Usually, we if we use inverter, we control the amplitude modulation. But for this case, we use the flyback. So basically, we vary the input voltage to the inverter, okay, to achieve the uh, desired output. Okay, that's it for the system. Okay, and okay, I think there is no more. Okay, let me show you the simulation result. Okay, this is just a picture because, uh, we, uh, like I said before, it is a very complex system and it takes a lot of time to uh, to simulate. Okay, even though it is only 2.1 second. So, you can see here, uh, this is PPV, P battery, PDC, okay, PAC. So, let me minimize this first. Okay. So the result is actually already uh, organized properly. So this is AC output, this uh, AC output, this one, this is AC output, a DC output, this is the PV, this is the battery. So all the power is measured here, and P loss is basically the power loss inside the, uh, inside the converter, inside the standalone solar inverter. So basically, this is the only power. Okay. So PV is input power. PDC, PAC is output power, P battery either input or output, and P loss is just 
what is lost to the uh, stand, uh, stand alone solar inverter. So plus is absorbed, okay, like a standard form. Okay, if power is positive, means that it's absorbed. If power is negative, it is supplied. You can see here the PV supply the power and then the irradiance change, resulting the power reduction. Okay, and at zero, if you can see the load here, uh, PDC and PAC, okay, the load increase. Okay, you can see the orange one, the load increase for DC and then for AC, the load increase, the green one. Okay. So that is the uh, load, okay, power flow inside the solar inverter. And then this is the SOC. So you can see here the battery. Okay, at the first, uh, you can look at the blue line. Okay, at, uh, at first, it is uh, X less X absorbed, okay. X like, uh, like a load, means that it's charging positive power. And then when the load change, it is become negative power. Means that the power is used by... Uh, but uh, the battery is used the energy go out to the battery and then this one also go up because the power reduced from the PV the battery needs to catch up okay uh, so you can see here it is follow that power flow okay when power flow is positive means that it's charging and when the power flow is negative means that this is discharging causing the state of charge become reduced uh, reduced Okay, so you can see here this is for voltage. Okay, this is for AC voltage. Okay, VPP is actually uh, operate at the VMP, but um maximum power voltage. Okay, this one. Okay, follow it. Okay, uh, thirty five I think if not mistaken. And it's not too much changes except for this one. You can see here uh the irradiance change causing the voltage change. Okay, the VPV change a little bit. Okay, and then the v battery and VDC is actually the same voltage because it is just directly connected with relay. Okay, there is only a relay there. Okay, and then for voltage AC, you can see here you have a real VAC which is uh, AC, okay, sinusoidal wave, and then you can see VAC in RMS. You can see here it is. Uh, close loop 230 volt okay it will be constant okay when this one happen this one because of the load change you can see here there is a load change at 0 0.7 that's why the voltage drop and then fix back again because of the uh because of the pi controller it become 230 and then this one at 1.4 you have a irradiance change Okay, so battery is quite a late response. So you can see here, it takes time for the battery to respond, causing the voltage dip. Okay. So you can see here, the voltage remain constant at 230. But the, okay, for current, okay, you can see the current here. For the battery, you can see it is positive battery. Okay, positive current means that it's charging. And then at 0 0.7, okay, it will become negative more or less than zero okay it is that it is discharging and then when the irradiant reduce okay, the ipv is reduced from 35 to only around 18 okay and the battery uh, will supply more power because the pv cannot keep up with the low radiance and for iac you can see here uh, at 0 0.7 the load change right increase because of the load increase the current increase from around 1.8 ampere to 3 point around 3.5 ampere okay something like that okay and then this is the efficiency okay so if you can see here the efficiency at the beginning is around 75 okay after that it increased to almost 80 and then when the after that it will increase to almost 90 okay and for the THD, you can see here, for the, when the load is low, you can see the THD is around 13, okay, quite high. But after the load is increased, the THD is lower than 5. So this one is actually not good because THD should be less than 5% according to the standard. Okay, so uh, for this case, you need to increase the irradiance. 
eh, sorry, the increase the L filter. Okay, the filter for the inverter. Okay, that's it uh, for the result. Okay, so basically this is uh, the standalone solar inverter with uh, uh, battery connected, okay, and EV have a low voltage, you can see here. Okay, let me plot this. Okay, the voltage is around okay, the voltage is around 14 to 15 only. Okay, but the current is almost 40. Okay, so this is the standard standalone solar inverter. Okay, that's it. Okay, try it yourself.